Hello everyone, welcome to SNA 741 demo series. In this video, we will learn about expanding the data store. I am Pradnya Padiki, TME for Secure Analytics team. So with 741 data store, we can actually configure the single node data store, meaning you can have a single D node inside the cluster. Also with multiple telemetry like endpoint NVM data, public cloud like NSG flow logs on Azure, VPC flow logs from uh, AWS, firewall logs, etc. Also 741 has a new analytics as it's mapped to MITRE ATT&CK framework. The data store design on SNA now helps in scaling horizontally, which is an added advantage on the retention period. This improvised architecture can scale up to 500k plus flows per second. As queries are handled by the data store, it is a very good and effective increase in the performance. We can see that the improvised architecture is cost effective. Also, the maintenance overhead of each of these boxes is reduced now. If we compare the old architecture to the improvised architecture, if a customer has 1 million uh, FPS as a requirement, we see the total number of nodes in the old architecture. So it, it requires around 16 total nodes, wherein 8 are D nodes and 8 are the FCs, right? The similar 1 million flows per second requirement on the new architecture, we can see the total number of nodes is been reduced here. That is total number of nine nodes, wherein six can be D nodes and three can be FC. So this is the total differences that we can see. And this is how it is cost effective. Also have a look on the retention period, wherein the same 1 million flows for 10 days and 1 million flows on the new architecture is for 30 days. It is a great improvement in the retention period. And because we have multiple D nodes, that is again a plus point and an added advantage for the query performance. Talking about the query performance on 741, we can see a huge improvement in response time. So we can see that it has been reduced from hours to minutes right now. Right. So that is a great improvement. Moving on to single node data store, like I said before, from 741, we can have a single node data store. Moving on to single node data store, like I said before, from 741 version, we can have a single node data store, which can be virtual or physical appliance. It supports up to four flow collectors till now. We also have the increased design flexibility, which means that we can have the combination of virtual and physical appliances. For example, we can have virtual manager and flow collector with the physical data store. <clears throat> One thing we have to keep in mind that we cannot have the combination of data stores here, meaning it has to be physical appliance of data store or virtual appliance. We cannot have a combination in these as, as of now. Now let's quickly see the demo in expanding the data store. So this is the data store domain. We can see here data store domain as enterprise IT and quickly see the central management. So this is a single node, uh, single node data store wherein we can see one manager, one flow collector, which is tagged as a data store and one D node. Now just browse to the data store tab and you can see if the database is up and running here right and uh, next go to data retention tab here you can review your database how much of it is used and how much is a free space and we also can know about the telemetry type of the storages and we can see how much percentage of the telemetry type is being stored uh, into the databases and all <clears throat> so that kind of information we can find it over here now let's jump to the console of smc and see how we can expand the single node data store to multiple data nodes So this is the console of the SMC and uh, let's type system config. And go to data store. 
and we can find the multiple options here so now one first one is the ssh and this is the passwordless ssh right so to do anything on the data store uh, on the console we need to first enable the ssh whether you are doing initialization or adding new flow collectors in your inventory or adding or expanding the data nodes so you have to first enable the ssh and this will take several minutes to do it now, if you are initializing it for the first time, then you have to enable the SSH and then initialize it. And now you want to, you know, uh, expand your data store, meaning you already have a cluster and you're expanding your data store from single node to probably three node cluster. So how do you do it? First, enable the SSH and then add the D nodes from the options that we have here. And now we can see that the SSH is enabled now, right? Now, because I have already initialized the data store here, Prior adding the data nodes uh, here from the console, first the central management should have the new data node, meaning it should go through the first time configuration and be assigned within central management. Once those all steps are done, we can come here and add the data nodes here to the cluster. So this is how the configurations will look like. So what are you waiting for? If you are already using SNA, I encourage you to upgrade to 741 and try out the data store architecture. If you are a new customer, so start your free trial today. Thank you for watching the video.